Hello, everybody. Today I have an explanation video for all of you. This particular explanation video involves one of my Christmas presents that I got just yesterday. This explanation video involves this. A one-digit CE elevator display along with its driver, or, you know, processor that processes all the floors and shows it on the display. So, this particular explanation video is going to be what will happen if I were to put an elevator chip, which is this small little chip right here, on a CE elevator display with only one digit. So this chip here contains more than 10 floors. It actually contains double digits too. So, so right now this chip here contains less than 10. So it only contains floors one through seven. So I'm gonna go ahead and power it up. So here we go. Right now it's initialization startup right here. And now, as you can see, it's flashing a number one because it's actually in fire service. It's actually saying F1 when really it's only flashing, you know, a number one. So right now it's flashing. So I do not want it to flash right now. So I'm gonna flick this switch off. And now the display is completely blank until I flick on either one or two on the driver switch. One is slow uh, self-testing and two is fast. So I'm gonna flick on it on one. And now the display is testing all of its data. So as you can see, it only serves seven floors. So yeah, as you can tell, this floor indicator here with this chip only has seven floors. And it also included this lens right here and it actually looks really nice. I actually have seen these lens inside of the Sky Harbor Airport elevators. They have many of them because they actually have the red colored CE elevator displays that have two 16 segment digits. And they actually have 2.2 inch displays but I actually decided to swap out the, my 2.2 inch display for a 2.3 inch. So as you can see, it's a bit different than the 2.2 inch display. And it's actually right here. I'm actually planning on getting a fifth Spy Kenzie Labs Biggie Kit to use with this. So there you go. I'm actually going to plan to get a fifth Biggie Kit hopefully very soon. So like I said, this driver here, this chip right here that's currently on this CE elevator display drive, it's only serves seven floors and there's no issues whatsoever. So, and if I actually flick it, if I flick the one switch to off, the display goes completely blank because I actually have that switch off to message blocking which basically just uh, blocks all of like fire service, independent service, etc. But if I flick it to two, you'll see what I mean by way too fast. Look how fast that is. It like changes like a tenth of a second every time. So we flick this off, and now I'm going to cut the video and show you. What happens if we if I put this chip containing more than 10 floors with double digits compared to this one? So I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I just swapped out the elevator chip. This one contains floors one through seven. And this one now contains floors, basement, lobby, two through 12, and penthouse. This was the first chip that I got with the other elevator display driver, which is actually inside of my portable CE display, which I'm gonna be making a video of it very soon. So I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up again and see what happens. I also turned on message blocking on the CE display so it doesn't flash a number one when it switches on. It just goes completely blank. So right now it's starting up now the 
Display is completely blank unless if I hit one, flick on one or two on the driver. So let's see what happens. So as you can see, it just shows the first digit of that floor. It doesn't show 10, 11, or 12, or pH. It just shows that, which I think is quite interesting. So, yep, there you go. So um, that's what happens when you put an elevator chip containing more than 10 floors that have double digits. So... There you go. I really hope you enjoyed this video explanation video of what happens if you put an elevator chip with containing more than 10 floors and it also involves double digits. So I really hope you enjoyed this video and please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe and thank you all very much for watching.